Hello Stranglers fans, hello punk vinyl fans, um, hello punk memorabilia fans. This is the episode that I wanted to show you for such a while now. Um, I don't know where to begin. This is beautiful. Don't know whether you know the backstory of this. Um, I'll, I'll give you the backstory, but let me just show you um, the thing which I hope will blow your minds. This is J.J. Bunnell's, the single that was supposed to come after Freddie Laker, Concord and Eurobus. This is Girl from the Snow Country. Not unreleased, it was released. It was just withdrawn. Let's see, give you a better close-up of the, the back there. As well as the front. Ultra rare. Um, it does appear in the list of top 25 rarest Stranglers items to buy. Definitely a grail. That's Girl from the Snow Country. Backed with Ode to Joy and Do the European live at Hemel Hempstead. The backstory to this, if you don't know. JJ recorded this... Um, and wanted to obviously flesh it out and have it released at some point. Uh, but JJ hadn't finished recording. It was basically in a demo form. So to um, his surprise, he went to uh, Liberty UA's uh, main, main holdings, main offices, and spotted a box of the UK pressed Girl from the Snow Country singles uh, on a desk um, it was just one box of sample records from what I understand so JJ's infuriated they've basically taken his his demo version not completely fleshed out song um, and pressed the damn thing up did all the details ready to go out to the record stores so he picked up the box of singles took them with him and for what I've recently found out it's highly likely that JJ demanded all the the parts that make up the production process to make the single so he would have demanded the, the daughter plates the mother plates and the reel of tape which um, they took that from and as far as we know the parts for making this product is still with him uh, over the years JJ's been giving out that box of records here and there. Don't know how many he's given out. It's not that many, I don't think. Now, that one came in an orange cover, from what I understand, uh, compared to blue. Personally, I think the blue, blue is better. Why the disparity? Why the difference? Because in Holland, the same thing happened. The record company printed up and push these out for sale for one day and they chose to go with a blue color blue colored cover which kind of works well with the snow uh, theme so JJ found about, out about this and all were recalled bar 70 approximately which got sold this particular issue being one of the 70 it's the Dutch pressing the Dutch blue pressing not the UK orange pressing. So what we have here is a, an amazing rarity. Um, I wanted one of these for well, ever since I found about out about them in um, you know post 1980, um, never could get hold of it. Beware, there are some counterfeits around. So do your research before you buy willy nilly. Um, yeah, I wanted this for what was the longest time, and one came up on eBay of all places, and I was only alerted to that fact by a, a fantastic poster member of the Facebook group Stranglers Memorabilia. He said, hey, uh, this is going on. <laughs> so I went there, thought about it for literally 30 seconds. It was a buy it now, so I bought it. Yes, three figures. But for what it is, the three-figure amount that I paid, I think is very fair. This 
is only going to go up in value if I were ever to sell it. So yes, it's an investment. But what an investment. To me, this is akin to the Strangler's blackmail cover uh, of the withdrawn peaches. It's in that sort of level of rarity. So I've been absolutely dying to show you this. Um, Stranglers fans and JJ Bunnell fans especially uh, will appreciate this, I'm sure. So um, thank you for bearing with me and my, my little teases over the last few weeks. Um, wow. That's all I'm going to say. One of the 70 of the Dutch pressing of Girl from the Snow Country. So good. On, on that note, uh, while I try to get my heart rate to slow down a little bit, I shall bid you a fond adieu, and I shall see you on the next video where I might be showing you another rarity from a, a Stranglers related offshoot. Can't wait to show you that one either. Okay, take it easy, everyone. Take it easy, every everyone. No, that doesn't quite scan, does it? Take it easy, everyone. Enjoy life. You're only here for a short time. <laughs> Gloomy note, but there we go. Bye for now.